Hey everyone! Welcome to Sam and Fang Cooking. In this video, I'll be making Newfoundland style pea soup with doughboys. To get started, add one pound of salt beef to a bowl and cover with water. Do the same with two cups of yellow split peas and leave in the refrigerator to soak overnight or 24 hours. The next day, we can make the soup. Get the veggies ready. I'll be using one onion, half a rutabaga, or in Newfoundland we call them turnips, two parsnips, three to four carrots, and three potatoes. Peel and dice the vegetables. When cutting potatoes in advance, it's good to add water so they don't brown. Now drain the salt beef and give it a rinse. Cut them into small pieces. Drain the split peas and rinse them too. Add the salt beef, onion and split peas to a large pot. Add 12 cups of water and two bay leaves. Turn on high heat until it boils, then turn the heat down to let it simmer. Scoop off any scum that floats to the top because we don't want any of that in the soup at all. Simmer the soup for around two hours, stirring every once in a while to make sure the peas aren't sticking to the bottom. You can also add extra water throughout if it boils down too much. After two hours, the peas should be almost all dissolved and the salt beef will be tender. Now we can add the vegetables we cut earlier. Cook for 20 minutes and while that's happening, we can make the doughboy mixture. Add one and a half cups of flour to a bowl along with three teaspoons of baking powder and half a teaspoon of salt. Add a quarter cup of chopped butter and mix it in with your hands until it's in small pieces like this. Mix in one cup of water or milk and stir until combined. After the vegetables have cooked for about 20 minutes, add the doughboys into the soup using a cookie scoop or a spoon. It can be any size and doesn't have to be perfect, but they puff up a lot so don't make your scoops too big. Cover and cook for 10 to 15 minutes. At this point the vegetables should also be cooked through. Take out the doughboys and put on a plate so we can get to the soup. You'll notice as the soup is cooking, the peas like to sink to the bottom as it sits, so make sure you give it a good stir before serving. Add pepper to taste and check for salt. Chances are you won't need any because of the salt beef. And that's it! This is my number one favorite soup. I just love the pea flavor, and the salt beef is obviously the best part. You don't have to make the dough boys every time you make the soup, but I highly recommend it. It pairs very well and they're so fluffy. Give this recipe a try. Thanks for watching. Bye.